if the list maker could go ahead and read the, uh, the job job thing I have posted in game room too. Uh, sure. So Cliff steps up to the um, notice board and reads the contents of one of the jobs that catches his eye. It reads as follows: Adventures of the Forge Concordance. My colleague, Dr. Oliver Roundtree, has informed the has informed me of your excellent work with the shears of the Tears Fall, and finding myself in a similar conundrum, I have decided to seek your assistance in the matter. There has been a curious yet sudden rise in the sick and diseased among the citizens of the Lady's Rest, and upon further investigation, we have traced the source infections to the rats residing in the sewers of our fine town. Please come as soon as you are able. I wish for a swift and complete extermination of the pest problem. Very Whiskey. well. Uh, go ahead and please uh, introduce your character for us. Uh, sure. Uh, Quiv is a furbolg. Uh, he is quite tall at seven foot one. Uh, he is wearing common clothes. His amulet is hanging uh, above his clothes outside. Uh, he uh, he's of great complexity, dark, black, black his eyes, uh, black his hair, very uh, reddish kind of eyes, and a scar that is ranging from his forehead to his, to his ear. Um, and he is standing upright all the time. No back pain or anything. No slouching, I should say. Okay, and go ahead and start uh, mustering your guild uh, guild members. Sure. Uh, Crave is gonna take the the notice from the from the billboard, and he's gonna uh, extend his right arm up in the air, and he is gonna say in the medium voice, so the around the surrounding adventurers can hear him. There is a bronze, uh, bronze rank mission. Anyone interested? It's a sewer of cleaning. Riordan will uh, step forward uh, and say, Corleone Laratian would look badly on me, on me if I choose to not help a fellow cleric of light in need. Uh, Riordan is a tall and slender wood elf, plain looking, green eyes, long blonde hair flowing past the shoulders, grim expression on his face, and he's wearing a shield a kite shield with the uh, emblem of uh, Corellon, which is a star in this case. I would like to join you. Sure, uh, Quiv extends now his right arm to greet him, and uh, he, he tries to make uh, a handshake with uh, Elf. And Riordin uh, does the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> sure, uh, does anyone... Do I see anyone else? Does anyone wants want to come up? Uh, Wallace will step forward, and he'll be like, Hello! I've never seen a sewer before. I think that'd be a great adventure. Let's go. Sure, up front! We like people like... And I do like people like you. Welcome to the party. Anyone else? The entry steps up. Um... um Hi, uh, still room for, for more people? Um, I'm not really excited about sewer or work, but I will not say no for a, to a work uh, job, to opportunity to uh, get my name out there. That, yes, that. Sure, you can always join. We have more room for more. And uh, Dan Triple, he's a human male. Uh, about uh, slightly above average height. Uh, you see he uh, still has some bandages around his neck and a little bit of scarring on his left side, like uh, some burns from previous missions. Uh, and he's carrying his sword in a book, along with his backpack and whatnot. His backpack, okay. We have room for one more. Anyone else want to join? Uh, the the sewers you said yeah um yeah yeah that could be useful can I come sure uh, what do I see please and standing before you as a rock gnome uh, 
bulber, still he's got greasy black hair that flops on one side of his face. He's got piercing green eyes. Um he's probably quite shy, uh, but he smells slightly a sulfur. Sulfur? Explosions. I do like this guy a lot. <laughs> sure, you, there is always place in our team for someone that, for someone of your, uh, of your liking. Uh, I, I guess. We can be useful, I suppose. Uh, so, I begin to turn around. Wallace, this is Ryordan. This is Bilbar. This is Dantry. Uh, and proceeds to do this for every single person because he's dumb. Nice to meet you all. Okay, so before okay. we get started, you can use this time to you know make any last minute purchases, uh, coordinate your spells prepared, uh, things of that nature. And then once you guys are ready, we can go ahead. Um, how do we go about? I'm still kind of new. How do we go about purchasing some health potions? Well, you simply mark off 50 gold pieces from your sheet and then add one healing potion to your inventory. All right. I'm going to do that then. We do seem to be having some issues with uh, spell macro. Let me just see if I can figure it out. Well, well we are you arranging. Always, like, you can always like roll manually. Yes. Well, we're arranging our gear to set up. Uh, make sure uh, I, I convey that I'm carrying a healer's kit. Uh, and if I go down, feel free to rummage through my backpack. And don't hesitate to ask if you need. If you need, I mean, we have two clerics. It's the first time I have a cleric in party, but. <laughs> Never know. It's fine. I mean, even if I, uh, I guess I wouldn't know that. But anyway, nothing. I was gonna ask you if you have like um, spare the dying, but I should not know. But the gaming. Well, I mean, gaming. if you ask, I mean, if you ask uh, during while we were like setting up and and preparing and matching spells and. Our gear, uh, Dantry would tell you. I unfortunately, uh, I still don't know how to wield the arcane to my will. But hopefully, my studies and uh, point at his book will shortly allow me to access that capability. But not. Nice. I don't think I'll be able to tap into it like you do. Not through the gods, just through studying. I hope you have a good time on your journey. Yeah, Kriv is not very smart. He does he understood half of what you said. <laughs> <laughs> we should be fine. My god allows me to detect poison and diseases as well as purify food and drink. We can we could just like burn the place and it should like take away the poison, right? Depends on the poison. Sense. Yeah, if you burn the poison, it might go away, or it might be airborne, and then we inhale it and die. Um. And then Harry, uh, go, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so shall we be on our way? I'm gonna go ahead and change map. Hold on. So you guys are going to make your way to Ladies Rest, which I do have the recently downloaded map of the loon. Right here. The loon? You guys are starting at the Guild Hall, and it's not that far, you know. Just make your way right across. Ruler tool. Here we go. Over here to the ladies' rest. 
When she arrived, let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Lugand. Cool. Uh, you guys have no trouble locating his office. It is located near the town square. Uh, and it cl clearly says the uh, the positions of the ladies rest. Uh, you enter and you look for the doctor, uh, and you are quickly ushered to a, a messy office. You see he's having his uh, morning tea. He sees you come in and he ushers you in. Come in, come in. You guys must be the Forge Concordance help that I've hired. Yes, that would be us. Uh, Very good. Be correct. Very good. Very good. So I've. Uh, uh, been talking to my colleagues about this uh, pest problem. I've um, talked to uh, Dr. Roundtree, uh, who has uh, hired uh, some some of your guild members in the past to help him with some of the sewer problems. I uh, we're having a similar issue here at Ladies Rest, um, and I was hoping that you guys would be a help. Uh, has my character noticed anything while we were on the way in the city? Uh, anything in particular you're looking for? Um, like anything that could be related to the sewers, I'm going to be more speci uh, specific here and say any like eyes, any from the sewer racks or anything, anything that could be out of the ordinary. Well, it does look like the um, there are more sickened people. You know, you can see people coughing in the streets, things of that nature. Um, it is right now during the winter time, so there aren't that many people out outside. So that is a natural part of the season. But other than that, not nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. So yeah, Doctor Doctor Lugand uh, begins to go through the, the details of the job. He says uh, he has acquired the sewer keys from the local authorities. Um, and I'll be happy to loan it to you guys for the day. Um, I'm hoping to get a complete, um, you know, scouring of the sewers, get rid of these uh, four-legged rodents, if you could. Um, there is one thing to note. As you know, the sewers, it's a, not a very sanitary place. Um, I'm afraid that, you know, the adventurers that I've hired in the past have told me that it is very difficult to find a place in the sewers that could... Uh, give you an adequate amount of resting time. So that could be an issue. So please be careful of your resource management. I mean, how far apart are the sewer entrances in the city? There are multiple sewer entrances, but the one that we will be using, also the biggest one, is the one at the center, right here at the town square. Do you, have, do you have like a map of the sewers that we can use just to navigate? Yes, of course. He uh, goes through his drawers and then hands you a parchment. He says, it is a bit outdated, but this is the best one I could find. Uh, you may find that some of the areas have been caved in, some of the areas may have been blocked off, and other areas may have been, you know, flooded by garbage or otherwise and blocked. But nevertheless, it is better than nothing. It gives you the parchment. Okay. How big are Do you have any questions for me? We're supposed to exterminate. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. How big are the rats we're supposed to exterminate? Ah, that is a good question. And I have seen rats of varying sizes. Uh, I haven't personally seen them, of course, but then the reports tell me that it could be anywhere between you know, a small fist to all the way to giant rodents, you know, big as those uh, dogs, cats, uh, large, large animals. So, but you guys are adventurers. You guys should be uh, able to hack through them, no problem, and exterminate all pests. Sure. Sure. I look at the party. Anyone yeah, else have, has any other One ideas? little thing. Yeah, one little thing. The the rats that we possibly may have to deal with, um, do you want them? Can I take parts of them? They are quite useful for some of the 
potions that I sometimes brew. I'll be happy, you know, to not see them in my office if you could. Uh, you, you're free to take as many rats as you wish. I'm, I'm sure you'll find many in abundance. Good, good. I like that. I like it a lot. Thank you. No problem. He hands you the sewer keys. If there is any other questions you have for me, you can go ahead and ask. Otherwise, um, the sewer entrances should be, and he tells you, uh, right outside, turn right, left, and then you'll see it right at the town square. I do have one uh, question. How exactly yes. will you determine with the exterminated the pests? I have marked the areas out of uh, interest on the map. As long as you clear those areas out, I think it would be safe to say that majority of the rats uh, should be gone. If you say so. One more question. Uh, mm -hmm. Is the key universal? It'll, uh... Is the key for all the gates? So will we need another key to open another sewer gate? Uh, yes. So the sewer gates, they are not universal. Each door has its own key. This one is the one that's uh, most used. Um, you should not be able to enter without this key. So I believe it should be locked. But um, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to access the other sewer gates. Uh, but you shouldn't have any need to. You should be able to find what you're looking for uh, through the underground network. Yeah, we ain't, going, we ain't getting any sort of rest. <laughs> Sounds like it. Sure, I guess we'll be on our way then. Yeah. Pleasure to have you, um, and I wish you good luck. Thank you. Dr. Lugan returns to his morning coffee. Oh, thank yeah. you, and we'll see you shortly. Kriv leave, leaves the office and takes his water skin and chugs down like 200 millimeter, um, ml of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm playing an alcoholic cleric, okay? It's fine. <laughs> you guys do make uh, you know, the way through your cold city. Um, you guys approach the sewer gates. Uh, it is, you know, not difficult to find. Um, you can see I have marked it on the other side. However, you do see there is a woman waiting for you guys, uh, it seems, right outside the sewer gates. She seems to be an elderly gnome, and she specifically is looking for you, I think, because when she sees a group of adventurers, her eyes light up, and she begins to come to your direction. Does this say anything? When she meet us, meet us? Yeah. She is dressed up in, uh, like, very professional-looking clothes. I guess. Um, everything looks tailor-made, cut, and very dry. Although, she does look like she hasn't been slept in a while. She looks very tired. She comes up to you and says, Hello. My name is Maggie Miggins, and I am the superintendent of Boots and Boots Shipping Guild. I have been told by Dr. Logan that he will be hiring some adventurers to clear out the stores. Would that be you by any chance? I'm assuming so. I think so. Mm. She uh, pulls out her uh, notebook and it begins to thumb through it. You see, we do have a particular problem that uh, I've been trying to nail down. Uh, there is a recent shipment of smoked butter, beans, bay leaves, and other... Foodstuffs, total worth of 66 gold pieces, two silver pieces, and nine copper coins. Uh, it has went missing. It should have arrived uh, nearly a week ago. Gate guards have confirmed that the shipments passed through the city gates unscheduled. But uh, I have been unable to find the porters who are assigned to carry the shipment to the guild house. Um, I've asked around, um, talked to a lot of people. And it seems that the porters were last seen near the entrance of the sewers, but they haven't made any progress since. I am afraid that it may have been diverted to the, the sewers, and if so, likely that the perishable goods are now no longer saleable. Nevertheless, I would like to, uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would keep an eye for the goods and maybe give me some closure in the matter. We'll see what we can sure do. Sure thing. Just make sure that they don't end up in some poor guy's mouth at some point down the road. Thank you. 
She bows and then lets you be on your merry way. Interesting. Uh, what time is it now? Just asking. Mm, it's like maybe in the morning. It's not too time. Time it hasn't passed. Okay. One thing you do notice, however, when you get to the city, uh, the sewer gates, is that it is unlocked. Unlocked. Should unlocked. they be? Mm. Should they be open? Uh, um, I don't know. Should they? <laughs> he, he mentioned that this key was like the most common, didn't he? I mean, I do he think did it's say weird, that but... uh, every sewer gate has its own key, and you should not be able to enter unless you have one. Uh, can uh, we like check for any markings of, um, of any scratches, any like attempts to break the door? Oh uh, yeah, you can go ahead and roll investigation. Yeah, that's four. You know, you look around, but it is quite rusty. Um, a lot of snow underground. It's kind of cold. It's very difficult to find any markings in these uh, absurd conditions. Okay. Shall we? Shall we proceed? Mm, yes. Priority would like to ask Is the that... party: um, Does anyone have any issues with darkness? Or would you uh, don't uh, worry, we don't worry, uh, we have like assistance. a lot of search of lights. Might as well. Well, uh, yes. Yeah, I would appreciate it. My eyes uh, aren't prepared for low light level areas. Uh, uh, I take out my Muntad sword sword and I give it to Wallace. Oh. Okay. What's the? You're the is? you're the human, right? No, no, I'm not. Dantari no, is a human. It was I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, I gave it Dantari. Oh, thank you. What's the uh, light range on that? Sword, uh, it, it, emits, uh, it emits light. Uh, I'm not sure if it is 30 or 20 feet. Uh, give me a second. I believe the Moon Touch Sword is 20 20, but you can correct me. It's, um, 15, so... it's 15 feet. Oh, 15 15? Okay. Which, uh, who has the, the Moon Touch Sword? Uh, uh, I have it, okay. I and mean, I'm giving it to uh, Dantari. Dantari, okay. yeah. I'll go ahead and give Dantari a light source. Um, guys, I have a lantern, if you guys want me to light that. Doesn't it use stuff up? If you we're all, no, uh, my, my we're lantern is used stuff to get light. I mean, why not, if you have it? My... My lantern's powered by a dra like this dragon scale, so I'll put it in the chat so that way I don't have it pingable yet. I need to fix that. And what type of sword is this? Uh, you mentioned it's dex base. It is a sword. a sword sword. Oh, short sword, yes, it's you one, mentioned. It is one to six. Thank you. Also, it um, if you hit a creature that has immunity to like bludgeoning damage, it has immunity to physical weapons, because this is a magical weapon, it's gonna bypass those immunities. So you're gonna be able to hit it like that. Thanks. I look at Nandari and say, are you competent with that weapon, or should I provide other means of light besides what Wallace has? Oh, uh, this is this this will do. Thank you. Uh, and if it doesn't cut much. down your uh, damage, sure. I also think um, some of you, something of you, well, will be affected by light for one hour. <laughs> like your regular weapon. Oh, <laughs> that uh, that's actually oh, uh, Priv, uh, I appreciate your your uh, your weapon, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm if we can light up my own, I'm more more used to it. And yeah, I pull it out. I was either way gonna cast light on my own shield either way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Light all yeah, around. Wait, You're in touch. Wait, oh, wait, right. But why didn't that wait. make sense yeah, for so you what? guys, right? Yes. So, Reordan, you're casting light on who? On uh, Dandari's sword. Dandari sword. But Dandari sword already limits 15-15, uh, right? No, he's giving the uh, moon short yeah, sword because but... he's not proficient with it. He doesn't have as much I see. Stamina. Okay, no problem. It's a martial weapon. Okay. Right. 
I have given Dentari 2020 illumination. Please confirm. Thank you. Correct. Yes, I saw the increase. Okay, very good. Let really? us proceed. Bill um, also has a lantern. Yeah. Oh, who, who has a lantern? Um, I put it in chat. Wallace does. Wallace? Okay, no problem. I have a, um, I have a I, lantern. It does take a, uh, an open hand to carry this lantern. Uh, just make oh, you sure. can't just you can't just hook it on your hip. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to carry it with one of your hands, unfortunately. Well, what you, kind well, of weapon do you have? I have an, I have an axe and a shield, so I won't be able to carry the lantern. Uh, then I'm gonna cast light on his axe. Sounds good. Um, I'll give him division. So you're not gonna use a lantern in that case? Um, no, because that would. That would make me less effective, so... Gotcha, no problem. Okay. Uh, Walrus, I change your illumination to 2020. Please confirm. And we can get started. Yep. The, uh, it's, it is winter time, and there is somewhat less garbage that's coming through the sewers. Nevertheless, the stench, you know, it's very strong. It, it will be quite difficult to find a place that's... Uh, yeah, you know, gives you any sort of uh, rest or peace of mind. Um, you can see the uh, the cobblestone steps, and there are a number of wooden bridges that have been installed um, across the sewers for ease of um, travel. Uh, the green sludge, that's like the the sewer material, it does look disgusting. Um, it's maybe about um, maybe like a foot deep. It's not very deep. You can definitely walk on it. It's about five foot uh, below. So from here to here is about five foot. And then the water is about only one foot deep. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. You may begin. I would like to investigate the area just behind the door, just to come in to check for uh, trap tracks. Not trap. With my shitty investigation. <laughs> You're looking for tracks, you said, Riordan? Tracks, yes. Rat tracks. tracks, human um, tracks. Could you roll survival for that? Sure. Thank you. Cool, that's actually better for me. <laughs> um, it is not difficult to see that there has a number of humanoids that have passed through the gates and you know they've been walking forward for a while. You do not see a track back, fortunately. That is the most recent tracks you could find. A number of group of humanoids uh, walking in one direction. Seems a group and, of humanoids already walked this way and didn't make yep. it back, although the job of gave it off all this uh, adventurers do venture down here again every once in a while. Uh, are we gonna decide the walking order? Uh, I don't want to be in the front line sure. for now. You guys can uh, control your own characters, like you know, put them in wherever. So you don't have to necessarily can... decide an order, I guess. We can have the warriors in front, I guess. Honestly, um, the I could take the rear if you like, just in case something. Jumps out of the water behind us. Sure. I guess I'm gonna be on the back with uh, Don Dantari. I'll be in the middle then. Um, who has the map? Uh, I have oh, it. True. Would Would you have any suggestions on where we should go? Uh, do I have the map? Uh, yeah. I mean, you're basically leading the party uh, to the highlighted locations on the. Uh, yeah, is there like a physical map that I can see? There, right now? There's no like, physical copy. Okay, I'm guessing we need to go around the path so we do not go into the disgusting water. Yep, sounds good. Uh, let's just make sure that we not and not everyone like steps on the planks all the time because we may we are heavy with all of our armor. I have a uh, mechanic question. How long would it take me to cast a ritual spell? Because I can't see the text for that, specifically this one. Well, ritual spells take 10 minutes. Yeah, right, okay. So uh, if you would rather wait a bit for 10 minutes, I can cast a spell and invoke my god and see if the water is indeed poisonous or diseased. Uh. Wait, well, it says casting time one action. Doesn't that mean it takes six seconds and oh. then for the remaining of the ten minutes? 
And only he has, has to take if there is poison around him. Uh, if I cast as a reach, two options, he could do it like immediate. Yeah. Since He's I... wanting to cast it as a ritual, so it would take longer. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that we're in a sewer, so the water here is kind of disease. They don't drink it. It's moving waste. Well, yes, but it would be nice to know for mm. sure in case we have to run through the water for our lives. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, yeah, but, uh, okay, sure. I mean, 10 minutes for that. All right, I start invoking the ritual for 10 minutes. Sounds good. Um, you take 10 minutes and then you go ahead and point your spell at the water, and yes, it is indeed disease, specifically the sewer disease. Of course. Uh, it is diseased. Um, mm-hmm. You should probably okay. avoid it. So, so yeah, if you are exposed to it, there is a chance that you might contract this sewer disease, which would be unfortunate. So last resort, don't go into the water unless we have something very pressing in front of us or behind yes. us. Uh, All right. Can I take this 10 minutes to like change one of my spells? To prepare another spell? Oh, so, sorry? Uh, the, the I, want to take, I want to take well, like one minute of his of channeling to take Bless instead of, uh, the, de- of the Detect Magic spell. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead, guys. Uh, detect okay. Poison and Disease is active, and you guys should be good. It's cool. All right. Wallace, if you're going to lead us, you might want to chew on this herb and I'll cast Guidance on you. Oh, well, that's awesome. Actually, if I can do it as well. <laughs> Sounds good. Go ahead and mark the Guidance on your character token. It doesn't matter which symbol you use as long as you mark it. How long does it last? It's only one minute. Eh? And concentration. It only lasts one minute, but it's a cantrip, so I can just keep giving you this herb that I just uh, let you chew on it, and I can just mm-hmm. keep spamming if you're happy. Are you sure you just yep. right. touch him? No problem. So we can like keep spamming guidance on everyone. We have three people with <laughs> guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Let's go. Uh, That's why everyone loves clerics and artificers. Uh, where does the map say we go exactly? You go straight. Oh, okay. To the yes, right side. Uh, can I do a perception check to see if there is anything else with this in the sewers right now with us in the near vicinity? Yeah, so I'm keeping an uh, eye on your pass perception as you pass by, so you don't have to worry about that. That's a 20. Yeah, I mean, you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. You see just in spider webs, uh, the... You know, it looks like a little bit of bones, uh, maybe rubble, things of that nature. A lot of garbage. Um, hold, hold on, hold on. Are you able to see this? Not. I don't know what it is. Whatever you just clicked on. Looks maybe a dead body or a body. It does look like a dead body. I right, just making yeah. sure you guys are able to see. Yes. All right. I cannot see it, but I give him a second. Yeah. I, it's very my light, faded. My light, so, yeah. Yeah, my light doesn't reach that far yet. Mm-hmm. No problem. What would you like to do? Um, guys, I think there's a dead body ahead. Should we go check it out? Uh, sh- sure. I mean, I do not see a bus. Uh, where is the nearest, like, uh, bridge to get there? To the other side? Um, we'll up here around the corner. But, but be careful on the corners, though. You don't, I mean, ro- there's rats around, so you don't want to just step in the middle of a huddle of rats. True. Yeah, that that would not be fun. <laughs> now I'm getting maze feelings. Oh. We have a map. It's probably fine. Oh. Amazing. Do you see anything on them? Could this be the people that were delivering the, the goods? Can I investigate him? Uh, yes, of course. Go ahead. Anyone else would like to try? I would like to. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. 
Um, you guys uh, shift through the body. Um, it, it looks like he is wearing indeed a uniform. He seems to be a porter, uh, one of those people that um, that were entrusted with um, handling the smoked foodstuffs shipment by the Foots and uh, Boots Guild. Um, as you guys fumble around with the body, you guys begin to hear rats. You know, at first it's just tiny, like you know, you hear that, but then eventually it grows wider and wider, and you do see at some point that rats begin to emerge. From where? Uh, where are we hearing this from? Uh, or is it All echoing too you. much? Uh, okay, yeah. It is echoing, and these rats don't look like normal rats. They are quite big, and they look diseased, and they look insane. They come straight at you. Roll initiative. See that? Okay. <laughs> There we go. That should give you um, plus D4 on your deck score as well. Oh my god, that's awful. Do what? Or with the guidance? Uh, that, um, do you, I don't think no, guidance, uh, the guidance like, only works on ability checks. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ability checks and saving throws. I need it to be clarified. Ouch. Giant rat is the first one. Sure. Okay, let's begin. Um, this giant rat is going to move up. It seems that they're unable to cross the green sludge, or you know, at least they're trying to avoid it as much as their ability. This one is going to run right over here, and it's going to end turn. Dendari, go ahead. Okay, I yeah. do uh, have. Would I have line of sight to shoot it? Yes, yes, you do. Okay, I plant down my rapier and I shoot it with a crossbow. Oh. Unfortunately, that bolt goes wide. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, the, that that would be it for my turn. Nice. And then the two swarm of rats. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to use a dash action to make it all the way over here. This one is going to do the same thing. It's going to be here. They seem a little bit reluctant to engage you in combat, but they do look pretty crazy. Um, they look really wild. So, all right, the swarms are done. Wallace, go ahead. Uh, Wallace is going to move forward to one of them and attack. 5, 10, 15. And battle act. Uh, 17 does land. Uh, just to confirm, you are able to see the enemy H bars, but you don't see the actual numbers, right? Yes. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good. Anything else, Walrus? Um, no, that'll be my turn. Sounds good. Enemy giant rat's turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is going to engage with a dash action and turn. Where is this giant rat? Oh, here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's going to end turn. This rat is going to rush down this dash action and turn. This one is going to run right this way. Three, four, five. Three, four, six. Going to end. Great. Go ahead. Uh, so, Crave is going to cast a first level spell called Bless. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just bang it for you. One second. There. I'm going to choose um, to cast it on Dentari, uh, Wallace, and and Bilbar. Sounds good. Go ahead and mark the symbol of Bless. I don't care which symbol you use, as long as you mark it. And would you like to do anything else, Crib? Uh, then uh, no. I'm actually just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. That's gonna end my turn. Sounds good. Giant rat. This one also going to move up over here. Riordan, go ahead. Uh, Riordan is going to move over here. 
and then shoot this rat with the crossbow. Okay. As I can find it. God damn it. <laughs> Bullet goes wide, unfortunately. Anything else for your order? Uh, that's it. Bill Barr. I'm going to fire my crossbow at the nearest rat that's beside Wallace. This one? Okay. Solid hit. Uh, and 11 damage kills it in one hit. Easily done. Anything else, Billboard? No, I'm just going to stay here. Sounds good. Uh, Disjoint Red is going to attack Wallace. But it's bite. Seven misses. It's going to end turn. Dentari, go ahead. Okay, so I turn around and I'm gonna shoot at this big rat behind us. Mm -hmm. And I I let Crip know I'll I'll hold them here, but they might be able to swipe at you from uh from from the bridge. Okay. Uh, solid hit. The red is it. injured. Okay, and that's oh, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. The swarm of red it uh lunges forward and it occupies the uh, the square that Walrus is in. Um, the rats are climbing all over you, uh, Walrus, and they're biting left and right. But not enough to penetrate your armor, it seems. That red ends. This one does the same thing with Dentari. 19. Dentari, it seems that you are hit. Yep. You take 10 piercing damage. Hey, Walrus, go ahead. All right, um, I'm going to attack the one in front of me again. Um, to try to finish it off. Uh, 12 does hit, and if you do finish it off, well done. Um, and then I'm going to move up and end my turn there. Sounds good. Uh, are they tokens inside like the characters? Because there are some. Yeah. Since they're swarm, they're all they get into our space. Mm -hmm. They're occupying the same square you're in. There's one under me, so careful. Okay. Okay, my turn. Giant Red is going to attack. Oh, I forgot. They do have pack tactics, so this will be an advantage. Okay. 16. Uh, I believe it misses. Nope. Yep. And let's see. This one is going to rush forward and attack Antari. Advantage at 8 misses. No problem. And then this one is going to rush up. Uh, it's going to use dash actions to get all the way right behind. It's going to enter. Creve, go ahead. Uh, how far are these guys? Um. Crev is gonna uh, is gonna signal uh, Dentari to take a step back. He's gonna take his hand axe that he's holding in his right hand, and attempt attempt to take a swing at the giant rat. This one? Uh, no, no, the one that is occupying the same block as Dentari. Ah, uh, okay, oh. the sw the swarm of rats. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So that's a hand axe attack. Oh, it's Unfortunately, with eight it's does with not hit. But okay, uh, there is a button on your character sheet. If you click it, blast does yeah. become active. Yeah. Anyways, ten does it actually. So nine slashing that. And then I move your character token on a wave. Damage. Okay. That concludes my turn. I don't have anything else to do right now. Giant rat number five. It's going to also move a double action uh, here. Reorden, go ahead. 
So this swarm of rats did a lot of damage to Dentari, correct? The swarm of rats, yes. Uh, I raise my hand and say, how rude, and hold the dead the rats. Which of course doesn't work. Forgot. No problem. I'll make damage. it. I'll make the rolls manually. Yes. So the wisdom saving throw. Oh, it does make unfortunately. So nothing. Bill bar. Go ahead. I will attack with my crossbow again for the one that's the swarm of rats that's beside Wallace. Uh, does it? Deals a good amount of damage. Anything else, Bill Bar? Oh, well, that's the end of my turn. Yep. Uh, Dentari, go ahead. Okay. Uh, seeing uh, the efforts of my comrades, I tell them that they seem to be crazed out. Maybe that's why. And I try to secure some of the swarm rats with the rapier. Mm hmm. Eleven does hit for ten piercing damage. Eleven damage, and swarms they do do less damage when they are only at half or less HP, which is good. Anything else, Centauri? Uh, yes, I use my bonus action to second wind. Uh, that's good enough. And there's a conga line over here. Hopefully, they block each other out. And uh, I'll end my turn with that. Back to the swarm. The swarm is going to swarm over wallers like this and then bite them left and right. Unfortunately, does miss. The other swarm is going to continue to bite at Dendari. Um, 14. Fortunately, not. Does not hit. And then Walrus, back to you. Uh, Wallace is going to attack the giant rat in front of him again. Well, for the first time. Uh, solid hit. And that'll be my turn. Uh, it retaliates. It uses attack. At advantage. 14. Does not hit. Uh, this right is going to continue to attack Atari. At advantage. Oops, sorry. Um, 21. That was hit. Yeah. Yeah. For five damage. Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. These rats seem to be infected. Uh, 12 does make nice guidance. Oh, yeah. This rat, seeing that the way is uh, blocked off, it's going to rush forward and then make a little jump right here using an athletics check. So DC oh, never right mind. Around. They're not blocked. <laughs> uh, five does work, so that's good. Uh, and it's going to attack Dantari. They're using pack tactics at disadvantage. Nineteen looks like they're biting through. Yep. Whoops, sorry. Um, six piercing damage, and then go ahead and make a DC ten Constitution saving throw. Makes and then crib. Go ahead. Uh, seeing that the party is being dealt a rough hand, and I am not able to use my proper like AOE spells, I am gonna take my amulet, raise it up in the uh, up in this up in the air, and I'm going to cast Radiance of the Dawn. It's my channel divinity. Uh, let me ping it for you. Sounds good. I think I've seen this yesterday. Yep. Yep. It is definitely not broken. I think it's fine. <laughs> and and it's, 30 foot around you. Is that everybody in? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, no, 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 no. I, it it's only attacks hostile, hostile creatures. Hostile creatures within 30 feet. Gotcha. All right, go ahead and roll damage. I'm going to start rolling con saves. Okay, top. <laughs> top. It's a D10 for crying um, out loud. Why seven? <laughs> but. Seven multiplied by... Uh, eh, it's good, it's good, it's good. 
Uh, let's see. So fail, 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 fail. To seed fails. Every single one of them failed except the swarm of rats. They only actually have seven HP, so destroyed. Nice move. And this one is also destroyed. Or no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. It takes half damage. Is that correct? Uh, yes, half damage okay. rounded up. So three damage, and the one over here. This one takes seven. Gotcha. Hey, your uh, turning ability just uh, wiped out much of the enemy forces. Well played. Uh, also, I'm going to use my healing ward to heal Dontari. Mm -hmm. okay. So he doesn't get any unlucky crits and dies on us. If I find it. Uh, uh, by the way, the share screen doesn't work. It is showing something else, not the Earl 20 game. What's showing us? Uh, what did you say again? The share George. screen is not showing the Roll20 game. The share screen is not showing the Roll20 game. It is showing uh, something else. Another Chrome tab. The streaming? Oh, it oh, is for... No, 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 no. no. I'm, yeah, that's my music. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not using it to stream the game. Yeah, don't worry about that. Let me let me stream that. I'm gonna stream. Don't worry. Go ahead. Uh, there. Go. Sounds good. Uh, well played, Crib. Reorden. Go ahead. I mean, there's only this swarm under the dark. Uh, then Tari. Let's one go. under Wallace and one under Dentari. I will toll the the one under Dentari. And you know, fails. Keep forgetting. Seven damage is enough to kill. Well played. Bill Bar, go ahead. Wallace, watch your feet. Just a little off the top, please. <laughs> you know, have to uh, defeat the swarm. The swarm disperses, uh, leaving behind many of its members. Dead underground, of course. Uh, the combat ends. Well played. Uh, can we see anything different about the rats? Can we, like, inspect them? Yes, of course. Go ahead and roll in, uh, investigation or medicine check. Uh, I'm gonna roll a medicine check. That's a 16. Sounds good. Um, so you guys are looking at the rats. It does seem like these rats are not normal. They, you know, are inflamed. They have many gashes on them. They are quite infected looking, and they're Mind is in, not in the right mind. Normally, rats, you know, avoid adventures. They're more like a scavengers, um, you know, sort of like the ambushers kind of thing. But these rats, uh, they're very aggressive. Um, they have no fear. They are willing to attack, fight to the death, it seems. Very scary. Seems out of their minds. Mm -hmm. Uh, can we see any like weaknesses that they may have? Like, are they weak to radiant damage? Do they take more from anything from any other sources, or do go they have any immunities that we can see? Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll uh, nature. Like nature check. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I'm not proficient. Oh. <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> You know, you think back to your, uh, you know, the nature classes on the rat anatomy. Um, you don't recall them really having anything out of ordinary other than, you know, they're really good at smelling things. That's about it. You don't remember any, like, resistances or immunities or weaknesses, anything of that nature. Seems fair. Uh, all right. Now, where does the map show us to go? Um... You basically just follow down, and then there should be a couple of different uh, sewer drains that um, the doctor would want to take a look at real quick. Sure. Uh, Grave is going to turn to the part and say, Hey, guys, we need to go all the way down there. There should be the first marking that the professor gave us. All right. I'll lead the way. All right. And Sounds thank good. you all who healed me. I pretty I really appreciate it. Those things bit hard. Pack tactics. Well, yeah, if you two or not again. What? Uh, also, bless, um, bless, and wait, give me a second to find it. 
Oh, thank you. Uh, your guidance is gonna end, uh, has ended, it's for one. And the other one, uh, also bless has also ended, so you need to remove those modifiers. Oh, yes, please, thank you. Okay, I've just recast guidance on Wallace. Yeah, you can recast it, that's fine. The Odin is gonna start yeah. casting guidance on Dandari from now on. <laughs> yeah, the guidance was uh, a clutch. Reordered. The, the bless, yes. Oh god. Bless was clutch. Guidance was also clutch. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the maps. Uh, you guys can hold still. Unless you wanna explore like this area or anything like that. Otherwise, I mean, don't see any reason why not. What here? Okay, yeah, sure, no problem. Unless everyone else doesn't want to do it. Uh, can we can I do a perception check to see if there is anything around us now? Yeah, like, go ahead. Roll perception. I am using the passive perception as you move, but you guys can try an active perception roll as well. I'll yeah, because we are now alert, we are probably like more used to like seeing that's a fourteen. That doesn't look like any immediate threats around, which is good. Okay. There's uh, an over here. Yes. Why? What? What am I supposed to do? Uh, Mark guidance. I'm, I guide. I cast guidance on you. And me. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm the only one that was in the range of any of the rats, but okay. It's a can trip. Why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And also, you're the guy with like the lowest AC right now, so yeah, because I have a crossbow, yeah. I have a shield on the back. It looks like this uh, small area is maybe a storage room of some kind. Uh, you know, little, it's elevated. There's a little bit of stairway right here. Inside, you can see a lot of rubble. Um, you, you do see um, a couple of these chains with um, braces that are. Anchor to the wall. There are a number of crates. Some are closed, some are open. It does look like the open ones are empty. And you do see some bones on the ground. Like maybe humanoid bones? You're not sure. It's an old bone, Can very I check old bones. Old crates? Yes. Go ahead and roll investigation. Can I help him so he has advantage? So, uh, Bill Barr, you go ahead and look at the crates. Uh, looks like most of them are empty. Some of them are full of like dust, rocks, things of that nature. Otherwise, not really, nothing of much. I don't think there's much in here. These look kind of old. Uh, Kriv is going to point out, she sees on the map that there is another room uh, right up ahead. Okay. So, he is going to take a move for there. Oh, just an entrance to the shares. I take that back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, okay. I'm staying guard outside, to... but let me know if we need to go continue inside. Do we want uh, to continue looking around here, or do we want to head on down to the grate? Let's just head on. doesn't seem that there's anything else here. Actually, You're... can I search for any hidden doors? Or anything oh, yeah. that could be in the room? Sure, go ahead. For investigation. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> you look around, you make a very careful assessment of all the walls, all the bricks in the room, and it, doesn't, it simply doesn't look like there is a secret door. Riordan would like to try to determine the cause of skeletons. Yeah, sure. Um, so these aren't really complete bodies, per se. They look like just like bits and pieces of like really old corpses. Um, so it'd be very difficult to try to determine the cause of death. Looked like he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Old he age, died, and it was very long time ago. Okay. Anything else? I would uh, like to just give my try at the investigation. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Well, nothing. Okay. Don't really find anything that uh, other people hasn't already discovered. Um, yeah. Uh, you cast Guidance on Dentari. 
Yep, I, yeah, you guys are continuing yeah. to uh, cast items. So that's okay. Um, and I'm going to have you guys change the map. So give me one second. Don't move. You should be at the top of the map. Yay. <laughs> the top of the okay oh, here. Uh let's see. Dentari, you have a passive perception of nineteen, is that correct? That is correct. That's pretty amazing. And you're the only one who's able to hear far off a scream. You hear call for help. Help! Help! It's like a very hoarse voice. It looks like he's like he's been you know he's been been through a lot. And he's maybe losing voice, but you you hear you hear it up ahead, coming down right. from this direction. So I share that uh, someone someone needs assistance up ahead. They sound weak. Well, Where? Let's go provide it. Uh, I guess we're echoing everything. around, right? It is echoing around. It is coming down from this way. Through the grating. How long did we spend in the sewers already? It uh, takes a bit of time moving from time to, yeah, maybe 20, 30 minutes or so. Okay. Um, you do see light though up ahead. Can you see the light? Not we need to get some light. Yeah. It looks like they're on the other side of the thing, and you the, the light is wildly moving away. It looks like if it's like a torch, he's waving it around with, you know, trying not to die, I guess. Oh. Walrus, you rush forward. There is, seems to be a half orc man over here. He's holding a torch. He's yelling for help. He's uh, currently uh, his foot is stuck behind a crate, and um, you know, he's running from something. You're not sure what. But then you see it. It's uh seems to be a large, worm-like creature. Go ahead and roll initiative. All right. By the way, we'll stumble over stuff that's not supposed to be in our job. <laughs> hey. That's why it's an adventure. <laughs> we're not even like we're not even actively looking for them. They're like, hey, we're here now. <laughs> Fight us! <laughs> wow, this is seventeen. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic initiatives. Go ahead, Jordan. Oh, uh, and let me uh, give one second. Um, as Dentari passes over, your perception is enough to notice that there is a swarm of rats hiding right here. It's trying its best to ambush you guys, but your keen senses have picked it up, and you alert your teammates. I'm going to roll yeah, initiative for that as well. Yep. Careful with the rats behind the crates. These rats are too intelligent. Riordan, go ahead. Uh, Riordan is gonna move over here and shoot the slug with the crossbow. Okay, uh, 12 does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, Walrus, go ahead. Uh, Walrus is gonna position himself between the orc and the slug. So, 5, 10... 15, 20, 25. And he's going to try to defend the man, so he's going to attack the slug. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, seven does not hit, unfortunately. And I will end my turn there. Sounds good. Kriv, you're up. Uh, Kriv is going to try and attempt to make short work of the, of the swarm. Uh, he's gonna get uh, his hand axe, and he's gonna attempt to take a swing at them. Uh, oh, that, that, hey, okay, that hits. Oh, it's uh, it's minus the one. It's not. I not have blast cast yet. Yeah, but fourteen still hits. So you're fine. Okay. 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 All uh, right. Then I'm going to use my second, my 
bonus action to cast a uh, shield of the um, shield of faith onto shield of faith onto Wallace just because he's up to the monster. Sounds good. Wallace, go ahead and mark the spell uh, symbol. Can you ping it for us, please? Thank right, you. Yeah, yeah. One second, I'm just attempting to find it on my character sheet. Uh, so faith, you take plus two to AC. Oh, hell yeah. 22 armor class. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Dentari, go ahead. Sorry, I ready my crossbow and shoot at the swarm. It does have cover thanks to crate. Is that okay? Soul, soul attack? Um, would I be able to if I move uh, here? Uh, yeah, you don't have, yeah, you should be able to get around cover with that. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here it goes. Oh, that wasn't it. I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to roll again or? It's the yes, same bonus. Please. Just roll, roll again. It's fine. Okay. 14. Solid hit. Uh, the rat takes damage and it is actually reduced down to half its health or less. Therefore, it's going to start taking less damage. Bilbar, go ahead. I'm going to fire a fireball at the rat swarm. It does have cover. It still hits, but only for one fire. Anything else? Okay, I'm probably going to move back so that I can see both of the enemies a wee bit. Uh, that's me. The giant slug sluggishly walks up the walrus and it's going to begin to attack. Now this creature, the carrion crawler, it does have a multi-attack. It's going to attack with his both bite and the tentacles. Tentacles first. 21. Ooh. It does not hit, right? Your armor class is 22 nope. at the moment. Thank you right now. Solid. Hell yeah. That is a clutch shield of faith coming through. And then the bite is going to miss. The carrion crawler is going to end turn. The swarmer rats wow. are going to swarm all over Kriv. Making attacks. Uh, uh, I'm using, before that happens, I have already used uh, Warding Flare, so they have a disadvantage. Gotcha. Unfortunately, it's, it's still in the, yeah, it's even still with in the, the disadvantage. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's fine. Yep, Hit yep. me with it. So the bite, um, it is not seven. It is I'm down to less than half. So I'm going to use the first dice, which is one. So you take one piercing. Oh, wow. Okay. I could. I was almost worried. No, you guys. I think made the right decision. Swarms do less damage if they're injured, and getting this uh, rat swarm down low quickly as possible, I think, was the correct tactical move. Uh, Riordan, go ahead. Back uh, to you. Riordan's gonna move a bit here and cast all the dead on the rat swarm. Very well. Which I keep forgetting doesn't work. <laughs> the rat swarm does fail. Six, five five damage. damage. Crib, I'm gonna move you out of the way, um, so I can mark damage. Alrighty. That's uh, Riordan ends. Walrus, go ahead. Uh, Walrus is gonna attack again. Uh, this beast has more than twelve AC. Uh, does not hit. Dang. You're doing right. well in the defense category, but you're not doing so well in the offense. Uh, anything uh, else, Walrus? No, I'm just going to move on from there. Okay, sounds good. Kriv, go ahead. Oh, it's me again. I'm going to take a swing at the swarm, mm -hmm. which is right in front of me, with my hand axe again. I'm not using any spell slots for this. Actually, just to change it up, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame. Which is 1d8 radiant damage. It is 7 damage, it is a DC 13 dexterity save. And it does fail. The rat swarm is completely destroyed. Uh, anything then, else? Uh, yes, I'm going to use my movement to get as close as I can to the B. Uh, I'm going to get over here. Uh, do the boxes count as difficult terrain? Uh, if you're moving straight through, yes. Okay, so it's going to be... But you, you can go around it without, you know, reducing speed. And you can also use them as cover if you wish. Nah, who needs cover? I'm going to get them over there. <laughs> it's fine. I have I have warning flare. It's fine. <laughs> uh, that concludes my turn. Thank you. Uh, Dentari, go ahead. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is difficult terrain, this one, right? Uh, this? No, 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 you're moving around it. As long as you're moving around okay. it, you're fine. If you're not directly moving through it, then it becomes a... Uh, yeah. Okay, so from here, it seems like I have line of sight to the creature, right? Uh, yes, you're able to see it from there. Okay, so I shoot at it from here. Uh, 16, solid hit. Uh, 8 piercing damage. And that, uh, that will end my turn. Bill Barr, go ahead. I'm just going to fire my crossbow where it's nice and safe here. Uh, 100 solid hit. And I'm just going to stay here. The crawler uh, continues his assault, multi attacking with his tentacles and bite. Fortunately, neither of them hits. The AC 22 seems to be very different from AC 20. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, go ahead. Jordan's you got this one, let's keep that in. Fire again. Defense, defense. Nope, that's the wrong thing. That's the thing I wanted. 21 does hit for 11 damage. Nice. And that's it. Walrus. <laughs> Wallace attacks. Oh does my god. Hit. You're too busy you're doing great, you're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. Crib. I was gonna cast like bless, but at this point it's only one enemy. Come on, we are gonna kill him, right? Uh, I'm gonna use my remaining of the movement. Uh since I'm passing through a teammate, I'm counting it as uh, difficult terrain, right? Uh yeah. Okay, so that's ten. That's 15, 20, 25, that that's really gonna be I onto the range of the monster, and I'm going to take a hand axe attack. Uh, solid hit. And that's how you're Anything supposed else? to do it, Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, that, that concludes my turn. I do not have Wait. anything else to do. Wait till he gets hit. Dantari, <laughs> go ahead. I shoot at it again. Uh, Another hit. Oh, man, losing a lot of health over here. That's good, that's good. Bilbar, go ahead. I'm just going to shoot my crossbow and... Eleven doesn't hit. Okay, I'm just going to stay here and just keep a eye behind us. The crawler turns to Kriv. It's giving up on attacking Walrus. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Sporting Flare on his attack. Mm -hmm. So this is at disadvantage, right? Yeah, this is disadvantage. Natural one misses, and then the fight. Twelve also misses, and uh. That's going to start to flee. It's, it will provoke attacks from Walrus and Crave. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, I used my reaction for Warding Flare. I cannot attack. Walrus, take a swing. Come on. One, two, <laughs> uh, three, four, five. Be the wall. Six, be the wall. It's getting away. Riordan, go ahead. Uh, Riordan is going to chase after it. If he can get past the friends. And since he's a wood elf, he can go 45 feet. And you can use your dash action. Why? I, can... <laughs> I don't think it's faster than me. And, uh... <laughs> stupid. Trust me. <laughs> the first roll is a critical hit. I'm gonna take that. So 13 damage. It's nearly destroyed. Walrus. Uh, yes. 5, 10, 15, 20... You know what? It's going to be easier just to run up and hit it. Let's go. Go, go, go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. The, one that counts. the creature was almost out, unfortunately. It was killed. It didn't even land a single hit on any of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
oh, thank goodness you're here. He pulls his leg out of the stuck uh, crate. I think I was goners. He was um, he has his torch with him. He also is dressed up in a uniform of a porter. So he must have been one of those people who went missing. Uh, he looks really disheveled and very uh, skeletal. He hasn't really eaten much in the past few days. He I'm says, going uh, to yeah. punch him on Russians. Like, while he's speaking, I'm going to take it from my backpack to give it to the guy. Oh, he, he devours it down hungrily. I haven't seen real food in six days. I've been eating, you know, like rats and like fungi off the ground. They're disgusting. It's all more poisonous, I'm pretty sure. Uh, can I check him, like, do a medicine check to see if he's uh, infected? Yes, go ahead. You can try. Uh, that is 20, 20 plus 5. That's a 13. Uh, he, it does look like he has succumbed to the sewer disease, um, for, you know, being uh, exposed to this, uh, terrible environment for so long. So he's currently under, uh, yeah, suffering from disease, sewer disease. Yeah. Anyways, he introduces himself as Hank Peters, one of the porters who are assigned uh, to deliver the smoked goods by the uh, Foots and Boots Guild. Uh, Hank Peters, you said? Yes, my name is Hank Peters. Good. Can you describe the attack? Well, this is what happened. Me and uh, three other guys, we're, uh, just, you know, as any other day, it was Wednesday, we, we grabbed the, uh, the smoked goods, we're delivering it to the, to the destination, I think it was the guild hall. Uh, when we're passing by the, the sewer area, we ran into a particular person, he was a uh, hooded, he introduced himself as one of the medical persons from the institute. Uh, he said that... Uh, there's been a change in the destination of the shipments. He said that there was an ongoing medical experimentation inside the sewers. Uh, they're looking for cures for the, the sewer plague, and uh, they're in need of some smoked goods. You know, we, we thought it was kind of odd, but the person was able to provide us with the necessary paperwork, signatures, and he also had the, the sewer keys with him as well. He unlocked the door for us, and we followed him in. Now, that was a huge mistake because we led deeper and deeper into the sewers until at some point he told us to stay. He's going to check out the, he's going to go unlock the door for us or something of that nature. That's the last we saw. Them. We uh, tried to retrace our steps, but these sewers, they, we got lost quickly and the scavengers, they're everywhere. They're trying to, you know, we brought in basically a feast for them uh, and uh, they wanted in. We couldn't really defend it. So we, Abandoned it and we ran. Unfortunately, we got separated. Uh, I don't know what happened to the others, but I'm here. At least one of uh, your did, friends uh, is dead. Did the medical person have a name? Yeah, he said uh, he introduced himself as Dr. Kadiev. I'll uh, write it Dr. Kadiev. That's, uh, you know, I, I haven't heard his name before, but I don't know. I, I, have, I don't obviously know all the people at the Medical Institute, so. Hmm. <sighs> Thank you for the information. Do you mind traveling with us until we uncover what's going on here? Yeah, he says, as long as you guys are going to get me out of here, I'll be willing to follow you anywhere. I do believe that I can be of some service to you because... By stroke of luck, I was able to discover a sort of like a safe haven inside the sewers. Follow me, he says, and then he starts walking up, you're right, limping, limping towards a, a particular like place. To this will be cool. Do you need some healing? He does look injured. He has only two hit points remaining at the moment. Um, yeah, I yeah. Only have one I kind of want to use it if I need to nuke something. Yeah, um, you don't have to heal him, that's okay. Oh, Bilbar's healing him? Yeah, if he's going to help, then I might as well. Uh, okay. Also, uh, Kev is going to hand him over the mace. He's a half orc, right? So he should be able to use it. Yeah, he's looking at the map. He's like, oh my god, what would I have done for a map six days ago? Yeah, with this map, we wouldn't have gotten lost like this. You know, he looks at the map, and he says, we're going to go right here, and he points to a place in the source. He says, there, 
it looks like the walls broke in by some of the plants and guess what the roots of these plants they're starting to cleanse the uh, the sewers when i was near the area i felt you know at peace i couldn't smell the odor it was a nice place for uh, someone to take a rest okay hmm. you can try rolling inside check your order i already did so 17. okay uh, and he seems earnest. He seems a little bit crazed, probably from staying by himself for six days, dodging hungry rats and other strange beasts. But nevertheless, he seems earnest, and he wants to help as best he can. Okay. Congratulations uh, on my... surviving so long. Um, I want to have my warding flare like prepared, if it is possible. I think to be instant at the ready, even if I'm surprised to be able to have it. Uh, sure, no problem. Okay. Do you guys follow him to the uh, his offer of shelter? Yeah. I say, um, I'm on board. Uh, just quick question. To try to recover bolts, is 1D the number of bolts used on the battle? No, no, no. It's a 1D2 for every bolt. Okay. There's 50% chance. So one, generally, uh, you lose it, and then the other, that means you found it and recovered it. 1D2 for every bolt? Uh, and you do it for every bolt, yep. Okay. Thanks. Wallace, you might want that, uh, what you chew on that herb again. All righty. Uh, Hank's uh, word seems to be true as you guys arrive at this weird area where the wall has been broken down by above plants. The root seems to be absorbing some of this odor, and you guys are able to find rest. Uh, you guys can take a short rest here. Only short rest, so that means no spell slots. Mm -hmm. God damn it. But you guys, you know, if you want to spend hit dice or anything of that nature, and you guys can refresh any of the uh, the class features that refresh on short rests. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. In that case, I'm gonna use my channel divinity uh, to regain one of my first level spell, spell slots. Sounds which good. Re which gains back in every short rest. Maybe yeah, do yeah, that. sounds good. I didn't yeah. know you could do that. Can you, can yeah, you do you that? Can. It's all of the cleric spells. Uh, and I also use my die, hit die to restore HP. And while we're at, at this place uh, with the vines yeah, that, that's cleansing, I would like to uh, analyze the, the plants, try to make some investigation roll on it. To yeah, go ahead and. Um... Go ahead and get some uh, nature nature check done. You can also use survival or medicine. Okay, investigation out of. Can I help him with my herbalism kit to give him advantage? Uh yes. Well, it won't give him an advantage. It'll give him proficiency bonus to whatever he's doing. Oh, uh, he already has proficiency bonus. Okay, well, it's probably unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I can use investigation. Yes. Uh, not or, an investigation. Want... You'll need to do medicine, nature, or survival. Okay, because I don't have uh, proficiency on any of those. Then can yeah. I do the survival check? Yeah, go ahead. Just because I have proficiency, nothing more. Of it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Then, Tari, you're, uh, you take some samples. Um, you're pretty sure these roots... Um, they are some of these uh, roots to make medicine, actually. Um, and it seems that, you know, even the medicinal properties before the, the plant is distilled, it, it is still active and it is still uh, useful. Uh, in this case, it is cleansing the air and, like, the odor. Like, it's sort of it's providing a sanitary uh, conditions. Oh, let's mark this on, on the map. And yeah, I you mark it on the, the map. Do doctors will appreciate this information. Right. Uh, where does it? I'm unable to find the, the channel divinity for the spells thing. Can you, oh, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, let me just ping it for you. Sorry. Thank you. And uh, rest of you, uh, go ahead and mark up any hit dice you've used, um, anything like that, uh, and then get back uh, like anything that refreshes on a short, uh, short rest. I think like um, what do you call it? Your like second wind, for example, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, Okay, okay, thank you. Cool, cool. We a herbalism kit. Is there any chance that I could brew some potions to try and remove his sewer disease? 
Um, yeah, you could try incorporating some of these roots into your herbalism kit so that you'd have some advantage at treating the sewer plague later. Um, you can go ahead and roll nature, survival, or what was the last one? I don't remember the last one. But yeah, you can use those. See if you can. I'll try nature. Gotcha. So, Bilbar, uh, 11 is enough. You do incorporate some uh, of this, you know, the plant roots to your medicine, uh, herbalism kit. And should you use it uh, later in this job, you will have the advantage on uh, treating the plague. Okay. Um, and now with the half or companion added to your party, shall we continue? Uh, I, did hand in, I did hand him the mace, right? You want him to fight? Um, in case he needs to protect himself. You, oh, you he, never know. He's simple porter. He, I don't know if he can, you know, try to fight, but he can. He'll try his best. He is an optimistic half orc. He is not going to let him, you know, sit, sit down and die. He's going to try to fight for his life. But he's made it so far without weapons. I mean, yes, he's been I'm very impressed. lucky. He's been should very lucky. Be, maybe while we're like near the entrance, we should just guide him out. So uh, uh, other other um, the store gates are closed and locked. You'll have to go back to the all the way to the main entrance, which is quite long distance. But you can if you wish. Uh, I have some knowledge yeah. that could help us out. He did mention that. that he was yeah, going to, he's uh, been here for six days after all. <laughs> uh, actually, let's just ask him. Hey, do you mind like uh, guiding us to these uh, sewers? We're gonna get you back safe. Uh, I promise that. It's just that we need, may need some help here, you know. Yes, yes, he understands. You know, you guys are adventurers. You guys have a job to do. Uh, he believes in you guys. He thinks you know you guys are uh, his uh, ticket out. He's going to give you any assistance he can. He's very optimistic, half orc. All right, Amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change map to the next uh, destination. Please hold. Sure. And I'm also going to switch the music back to sewers. You guys are at the bottom left. This is another sore drain that the uh, the good doctor you guys to check out. Uh, Mister Mister Hank Peter says he hasn't been down this way. He's not exactly sure what you guys are expect. Uh, you do see a lot of cobwebs, things of the nature. There's a sewer drain up ahead. What would you like to do? Uh, can I inspect what these are? We yes. Have not inspected them before. Go ahead. Uh, Investigation? Yes. Uh, I will also give you guys control over Hank Peter's token so you guys are able to move him around. Oh. So I don't have to keep moving in for you guys. <laughs> okay, there. Uh, someone please confirm that you guys are able to move the token. Yeah, we can, we can. All right, fantastic. All right. And then let me see that investigation check real quick. It's a 10. Not high enough, I guess. Ten. I mean, it's just basic garbage and rubbish um, and rubble stuff of that nature. Uh, Troublingly, that's where it seems the rats are hiding generally. Because the way when they come out, they usually come out from one of these like rubble spaces. So do be wary. So we know they're smart and they try to catch us off guard. So mm -hmm. let's try to step, stay one step up ahead of those little buggers. Ah, so charge ahead. Gotcha. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take it slow. 
I mean, it has kind of worked up to this point, but but carefully. Charter ahead carefully looking around. Rats. Yeah. It's been like two hours at this point, so Kriv is gonna take another another chug of his water skin of alcohol that he has filled with alcohol, basically. Mm -hmm. That's about it. <laughs> Uh, so we continue forward. Let's go. Yeah. Um, yes, in the map shows us uh, directly that direction to the next location, more specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us move on. You uh, can kind of see, start to see the the sewer drains that the doctor was talking about over here. Uh, can we have the artificer like in the middle, just because? Yeah, we do not want him to just get Ambas killed, please. The has yeah, the well, just because in my AC, I was going to stay at the back. I mean, Artificers get at the 6, don't they? As a hit, I mean. Uh, yeah, low health, but I've got high AC. I was just going to... It's fine, I'll just stay in the middle, it's good. I don't know if it's uh, you guys are able to see it, but there is metal grating over this water area. And yes. deeper inside, are you able to see this? Uh, not yet. yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. No problem. Like it's source of heaven. Ah, oh, it's a corpse. I see it. Looks like another body. Yes, yeah. it looks like another body. Hank Peters, you know, he squints his eyes. He has a half orc dark vision. He sees, uh, that does kind of look like the, the porter's uniform. Maybe it's one of the persons he's collapsed over there. Should uh, should I go get him? Um, uh, first of all, let's just make a perception. I want to make a perception check to see if any rats are attracted to the body. So just because we got, like, ambushed the last time. Yeah, these rats are weird. I would Could like be a to trap. I would like to make a perception check to see if these uh, grates will actually hold our weight. Uh, you won't know until you walk over here and you know try putting your foot on it or stuff like that. So, Wallace, mm. wait, try this. Well, after you, Wallace, yes. <laughs> I'll do it. The guy distance are active. Sure, sure. Um, I'm probably the heaviest one here, so. Do you? Do you want me to make like 300 pounds? What do you mean? <laughs> I can try if you like. Would you like yeah. me to do it since I'll probably be the lightest? Uh, I don't yeah. want you fall. I don't want you falling in and getting a disease. So actually, uh, what kind? Uh, what kind of body is it? Like, is it a half orc? Is it something of that sort? Is it like a heavy body? Uh, it does look like a human, but you're not too sure from this distance. You can try checking it out. Uh, um, okay, we're gonna have to get to the metal gate. Remember, uh, Bill, jump are up you and step, down. You step onto the metal grating. It does seem solid enough. It does not fall. You uh, might want to. Uh, you might want to be careful in case when I touch this body, like last time, the rats sense it. Be ready. Yep. Okay. Uh, really, we will gonna take... prepare to engage rats coming from up. Here with the cross. Uh, Quiv is gonna check this room just because. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have any light sources with you? Uh, yes, I do have my light that I have casted on my shield. Oh, is it marked on your sheet? I uh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't know. Let me give you some vision. Uh, here, here, here. Put yourself over here-ish. Wait, 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 oh. wait, wait! Don't, don't go running in yet. <laughs> um, so you turned a corner. You see a neatly stacked boxes like this, uh, some rubble, and you do see like a ladder climbing upwards, perhaps to the surface. Um, let me let me just check uh, your passive perception real quick. I was anyway gonna like roll for perception in the room. You can uh, also roll, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know I'm alert. I'm like charging. Yes, in yes. So you're looking around as best you can. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> That's Craven, a <laughs> there are definitely creatures waiting to ambush you guys in this room. Um, and they do not look like rats. 
Shoot. Do you I... yell anything to alert them, or what do you do? I do not yell anything. I'm going to attempt to stealth check out of there. I'm going to like go a little bit to the back. And I am just going to say, everybody, speak very, very low. There are people out there in the other room. Waiting go ahead and go ahead and roll deception. I want to see if these uh, humans, they've noticed you noticing them. Go ahead and roll deception. Uh, wouldn't that would be stealth? Or... You can try stealth too, sure. That's fine. Mm. No, I have the same modifier, just, you know, there. 11. Let me see. Uh, that's against their passive perception. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay, well, they know. Then... You hear behind you, I think he saw us. Let's let's just go in. And then you hear the cultist, uh, you know, they overturn the boxes and they're releasing the rats at the same time. Bilbar up ahead, right in uh, front of you. The the ceiling collapses open and something slimy drops down from the uh, bulb. <laughs> Do you see this? Yeah. It directly lands on the body. And it seems that the body was actually not... A body because it just you know it's just a mop with somebody put a coat on it to make it look disguised as a body. It was definitely a trap. And this slimy thing, as soon as it lands on it, it corrodes the metal grating and falls directly on your. It looks like one of those woozes. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark the creatures on the map and roll initiative. Let's go. Uh, Griff is gonna inform of the of the cultist in the room and of the monster that's coming out in. Hey guys, like we are gonna get ambushed again. This was probably a trap from the beginning. Our speciality. Yeah. This is a trap. Yes. Indeed. And let's see how you guys do it. That's a six. <laughs> yep. Uh, this time it seems like they did catch us off guard. Oh well, no, Bill Bar is. No, they didn't really catch you off guard. Um, Crib was able to discover them before you guys were ambushed. I really mean, good. our initiatives are quite low in, in, in compared to last encounter. Oh, Except I for see. Bill Bar. Okay, very well. That's a lot of rats. <laughs> Let me just uh, get this thing in order. Do, 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 do. Okay, Bill Barr, you're the first person to react. It right in front of you, this woos creature dropped down from the ceiling and melted the the metal corroding, uh, you know, the metal grating right in front of you. If you were standing underneath it, you would have definitely collapsed to the ground below. What would you like to do? Okay, I'm going to lift my shield and step backwards. And then take a shot uh, with my crossbow. Uh, with a firebolt, actually. Gotcha. So you're aiming at the ooze, right? Yep. Very good. Uh, the firebolt does land. It seems that the, the fire actually travels really, like right around it. It's not having the, the same effect that it should be. Uh, if it's a one, does the damage get cut to zero? If it's a resistant uh, creature? Uh, I do not think so. It's just half it's rounded up, so it's one. I know most things round down, but I'm wondering if there's a minimal damage. From what I've seen, it's always at least I one see. damage. At least one damage? Yeah. Could be wrong. yeah. What does it say? What's the would... info for it? Uh, let me check the rules real quick. It does look like it is possible to deal zero damage. Um, I mean, it's just a difference of one. Uh, here, the ooze will take one. All righty. Uh, Bilbar, do you have anything else to do? Uh, I'll just show, uh, warn everybody that this thing is acidic, and then that will be the end of my action. Gotcha. You, hear, you begin to hear rats. It seems that the cultists have... Um, Maybe tamed to some of these giant rats. Um, this creature comes rushing around a corner like this, but it has used its dash action. It's not going to be able to attack. 
will I be the able to get my reaction shot, shot on it? Because I was waiting for us to come behind. Oh, you did your ready action? Yes. Oh, like outside combat? I don't. I don't really do ready action. Huh, okay. Yeah, but it's not um, attacking. It's not going to be alive for long. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Uh, the cult. You guys hear footsteps over here. Cultists are mobilizing. Um, the gray oozes turn. It goes and it reaches for the grating, but all the metal grating it touches begins to just rot away and melt. Um, it manages to go here and then climb up to the solid rock where it uh, finds Riordan. It blindly reaches forward with its I will pseudo -paw. Let it. Okay. Critical hit. Warding clear. Uh, Warding player, 12! Hey, it does 12 hit. Oh, this is bad. Wait, wait, 12, 12 missed, right? No. Yes. Yeah, 12 missed. Yeah, 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 you're fine. I have a Nasidic Uzi in front of it. It's not fine. It's not fine at all. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's not a crit critting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a critting acidic. All right. This cultist is going to rush forward. One, two, three. It's going to run down the stairs and attack Crib with his um, scimitar. Die! Does not hit. Jordan, it's your turn. Go ahead. Uh, I drop the crossbow and I take out my shield. And then I will stupidly attack it with the short sword. See if it actually melts the sword. The ooze. So, 22 is good enough to hit it. It does take damage. Um, as soon as your sword touches this thing, it begins to, you know, start crowding away. Cool. It takes a minus one penalty to its damage rolls. <laughs> uh, it melts steel. It melts steel. <laughs> I had my time. Anything else you'd like to do? Okay, and turn. Problem. The giant rat. It's going to rush forward over here. Uh, it's going to double. Uh, yeah, it's going to dash. So it's not going to be able to attack. And then this giant rat. Same thing. It's going to be over there. Um, the cultist over here. It's going to rush forward like this. Um. And it's actually just gonna uh, run straight past Crib down. Uh, Crib, you can you can make an attack. For, uh, uh, yeah. He's uh, he's going through like difficult terrain there, isn't he? How yeah, much yeah. movement? He's he's just using dash action to double his movement. So oh, he, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna use my attack either way. Okay, no problem. Uh, it's gonna be a handex attack. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ouch. you take a swing at him as he runs past, but he does not hit. Cultist smiles. He has a scimitar. He's going to end turn over there. Walrus, go ahead. All right. Um, right. I'm going to yell, people with magic, there's a ooze over there. Watch out. Do something about it, please. And then I'm going to run over here. So 10, 20, 30. Well, 25. And I'm going to. Quiv is gonna like signal you. Can you get onto the net next to him? Because I I really want to move there. Oh, I can move one more spot. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, and uh, then I'm meant, I'm meant to go over here. Can you go over here? I mean, no, because I already moved here. So. Okay. Okay. That it's fine. It's, either, either way, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And Sorry about okay. that. No, no, it's fine. It should be okay. Um, I'm going to attack the rat that's in front of me. Okay. Uh, Twelve is a hit, indeed. This rat is almost killed, not quite. You can see his HP. Uh, anything else, Walrus? Um, nope. That's my turn. Gotcha. Kriv, go ahead. Uh, so Kriv is going to take one step back. I know it's going to provoke like three opportunity attacks, but it's fine. Okay, uh, hit me. So this rat and this cultist is going to take a swing. Uh, the rat does have pack tactics, so it has advantage. Ooh, critical hit. It's fine, probably. Yeah, 10, go 10, ahead 10, and okay. make a constitution save. 
I'm probably good at those. Probably. Probably good at those. Constitution shaming throw. Let's go. That's well done. And then a scimitar from the cultist does miss. Crib, what would you like to do? I will burn them all to the grace. I cast burning hands. Nice. You can, should be able to catch all four here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling dexterity saves. You can go ahead and roll your uh, Let check. me just find the... Uh, here. Okay. Please, please. Uh, Eleven. The entire corridor lights up. Let's see. Giant rat. Giant rat. Giant rat. So mm. two of them saved. And then the cultist. Uh, uh, nine. Uh, does fail. So 11 damage, right? The cultist is burnt to a crisp. This rat is uh, saves, but it still dies. This rat takes full damage, dies. This one takes half damage, is barely alive. After the fire goes away, the corridor is left in cinders. That yes. was a strong AoE spell. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm I am just gonna like preserve my spell slots for now, mm -hmm. and I'm going to end my turn here. This cultist is gonna rush up. One, two, three. It's gonna run downstairs and attempt to uh, stab at this. Uh, this person who just burned all of his friends. Uh, uh, 17. It's going, it's going to be with disadvantage, I guess. Wording Flare, I have one more charge after that. 16 does miss. Um, and turn. Dentari, go ahead. I will attack with Scimitar this one. Uh, sorry, with Rapier, I don't have a Scimitar. Mm -hmm. That does hit. Um, Cultus seems wounded, but it is still coming at it with crazed. Anything else, Dentari? Uh, this is the one that rushed over and, and whispered or yelled die, right? Mm -hmm. So I say, no, you! And poked him through. And well, He's uh, more than halfway there. <laughs> and uh, I, tell, uh, I tell Peter, uh, step back, look for cover. Okay, okay. Peter, Peter is going to run, run over here and he's going to try to take up. And that's it. All righty. This cultist over here is going to move over here. He's going to use a dash action to get in melee. He's going to end turn. Bilbar, go ahead. Hey, I'm going to shoot with my crossbow at the acidic slime. Uh, 14 does hit for 4 damage. And unfortunately, the crossbow bolt, after it lands, it will disintegrate inside it. So you're not going to be able it's to get fine. it back. Yeah. It's that um, infusion anyway, so it's magical. Oh, okay. Then perhaps not. <laughs> and um, I'm going to move away with my 25 feet. Gotcha. So Bilbar is going to be done after his movement. This cultist at top yeah. is over here. He's gonna he's trapped behind his allies. He's going to go over here. He's waiting for one of his allies to fall so he can step in. Grey Woos is lunges at Riordan. Riordan. Pseudopod. Okay. Does not hit. That's it. Uh, let's see. Riordan, it's your turn. That, that's all the Ooze does. I am disappointed in you, Ooze. <laughs> uh, Riordan will... Yeah. will move slightly up on the grate. Kinda dangerous. Raise his shield in the air and say... Uh, the stars do not shine bright for you. Radiance of the dawn. Oh, we found another turning. Okay, let's see. Is everybody in range? Oh, uh, this red is not in range, but yes. everybody else is. I couldn't. Wait Thirteen for damage. That's only one shot. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta try making saves. All right, what is it? Constitution <laughs> save. Is it Constitution? Constitution. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Constitution save. All right. So let's see. That's four cultists uh, in the gray ooze. Gray ooze makes. Uh, oh, he does make. Uh, and this is radiant damage? Okay. So yes. it takes half damage. Good. And the cultists. Con, 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 con. Two of them makes, and two of them are killed. So that's this one and this one. They are killed. These two take half damage, so six. 
And with my bonus action, I would like to use Healing Ward on Creep. And we just cast that. <laughs> and, and then the spell, spell master is still broken. Um, yes. Uh, 1d4 it plus should five. be 1d4 plus 5, right? No. Plus 3, I don't have 5. Three. It's fine. It's fine. Crave, th Crave thanks, Ray Ordin. Thank you, mate. I needed that. And that's my turn. And this giant rat steps up and attacks Crave with his cultist friends. It does have pack tactics. That makes it take an advantage. 18. Ooh, that like hits. This. Okay. Ouch. I'm not using Warding Flare now. No, I should have told. I have should have said anything before. So uh, four piercing damage. damage and Constitution saving throw. Yep. Uh, uh, constitution saving throw. Please don't fuck me up. Okay, it's fine. Yay. All done. Walrus, go ahead. Um, Wallace is going to attack the rat that stepped up. Dang it. Walrus, it seems that your defense is impenetrable, but your offense is a little bit lacking. He has a plus five and he cannot hit anything. What yeah. the hell? He doesn't really yeah. help for it. <laughs> it um, he's so focused on the defense. Wow. Uh, no, that'll be my turn. Okay, Crib. I'm going to cast another one of those very, very not useful abilities that's called Burning Hand. <laughs> Ah, that's five damage. Okay. Okay, so I have a chance to live if I make the save. All right. I rolled two ones. I rolled two ones. Giant red. It doesn't matter if he makes. He doesn't have enough HP. He's gonna burn. Um. Cultist. Dex save. Dex save. Fails. Fails. Neither of them survive. Let's go. You know, these are narrow corridors, trapped, and then they're all getting burnt to a crisp with AoE spells. All right. Uh, uh, running else, into right? a flamethrower covered. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can see that the whole scenery is charred. Uh -huh. Like, it's probably black now. <laughs> um, um, Quiv is going to use his movement just to get, like, closer to this guy to be able to help to finish it off. Sounds good. Uh, Dentari, go ahead. So, seeing that over here it's settled, I'll turn around and shoot uh, Bolt to the ooze. Uh, let's see. Ten does hit um, for five damage. The ooze is nearly destroyed. Uh, it does eat your uh, crossbow bolt, so it's pouring yeah. it away. Um, Bilbar, go ahead. I'm just going to move up here. Just cover. Yep, yep, that's fine. And Bilbar 9 actually does hit. It's enough to finish up the Grey Ooze. It splits up into multiple pieces and dies. Okay, and then I'll use my movement to try and get across this metal gate again. Riordan, I don't know if moving on the metal plating was a good idea because the Ooze was going to rush up and melt it under you. Wow, well, that, that was it. I, oh. had to, I had to get these two guys off in the rain. Oh, that's true. You needed them in AoE. Okay, well, yeah, you guys, uh, well played, well played. Wipe them up with AoEs, no problem. Oh my god. Nothing works. I hate it. I will cast your <laughs> wounds on Kriv. Uh, well, just roll it manually. <laughs> Thanks, okay. by the way. Spell but, macro, it seems to be broken. I think Chihuahua is quite impressed. Has anything under, in these words, have actually been able to connect to you? To Wallace? I don't think anything has connected. <laughs> Yeah, um, right. <laughs> our first encounter, I hit a few things, thank you. No, no, I mean, has anything been able to hit you? I don't think oh, anything no. has touched you. That's impressive. No. Um, I am, I have been, thanks to, I don't remember who, but they cast shield on me before, or whatever it was. Shield of faith and, is amazing, it changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, definitely. Rip. The uh, Shield of Faith has expired by now, Horus. Yeah, yeah, it obviously has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shield of Faith. I I didn't have Shield of Faith on. It was yeah. the other. It was the other two things that were up when we started combat. But yeah, if the Shield of Faith was active, your AC would have been twenty, and I did roll two twenty ones, so that would have made a huge difference because 
the thing paralyzes when it hits, which is a oh. very yeah. So yeah, you're you're a great first liner. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so where to now? I think uh, we need to go to the um, I was going to suggest like to go into the room because. Um, also, can did they notice anyone leaving through the stairs? Because uh, there were, not like, really. Six... You guys can uh, check it out. Uh, you climb up the letters. It does look like it leads to the surface in um undisclosed, you know, like kind of a quiet location. Uh, can I check the boxes here? Is anything like full of some full of stuff? Oh yeah, go ahead and roll investigation, please. Thank you. Uh, sure. Maybe we should let the officer do it. Uh, I'll also, I'll also <laughs> roll investigation. Since mm -hmm. you may be Sounds more good. aware of what's going on, what may be in the boxes. <laughs> well, I mean, 12 isn't a bad roll. You uh, took a look at it to open up the crates, and um, you do discover that many of them are full of these smoked goods that um, was stolen from the porters. And it looks like the cultists have been using them to feed the rats, train them, and, you know, multiply their numbers, basically. Hey, Hank. vicious is going on here. Hank, do, do any of these cultists look familiar to you? Hank takes a look. He says, uh, uh, I don't think so. They're cold. They're going to a crisp, aren't they? Well. I mean, as best he could make out of it, I guess. He doesn't think they are. Well, most of them are charred, so. <laughs> how many more places do we have to check? Uh, just one more place, according to the map. Have we checked the entrance? Is it, is it open, locked? Is, uh, the letter entrance. It is not locked. You guys are able to go outside. Uh, can we go? Uh, we could look outside and see where we are. Where it leads. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you guys are still within the city proper, but it leads to like a kind of quiet location, maybe like near a park, something like that, where no one's really around. It looks like the cultists so have been using this location. Uh, the, the manhole to enter and exit the sewers without having one of those keys. Okay, so Hank, would Hank. you like to go back to the surface room here? Yeah, the Hank would be very, very glad to return, yes. Hank, could I get you to maybe take care of these supplies as well? They'll be needed. Uh, Hank can see what he could. He will report them to the, the Porter's Guild, and they should, you know, send another group out here, and they can return the goods, at least recover as much as he can. Oh, uh, and yes, you guys are also taking another short rest. You guys are able to make it to the outside surface, and you guys are able to rest. Uh, then could we say, like, the, uh, who, um, Riordan, you, did you cast Cure Wounds on me? I did. Can we, can we say, like, that nah, it's he fine. died, it's just, fine. I just rested? Just well, I can't you wouldn't know, know that you'd have another short rest. Yeah, before. we didn't know. We didn't know. Yeah. Okay, sure. Makes sense. <sighs> Sorry, metagaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Hank Peters uh, bids you goodbye, and then he will lead back to the surface. His six days uh, journey in the sewers is now over. Congratulations, Hank. You survived. Good. How many friends were you? How many portals uh, did you come down with, though? In case we find them, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. Before Hank leaves, he tells you that uh, there were four porters with him. They were all carrying a large number of smoked goods, uh, and it looks like they are uh, here. It looks like um, it's more than what they were carrying. So it, this is this isn't the first time they've stolen the uh, the foodstuffs from the porters guild. It looks like. Mm. Cool. So we found all of the goods. You're resting this. upside, right? Yes. Yes, upstairs. That's correct. I'll, I'll be sitting on. Board. I'm gonna mark um, them on the map. On the map, yeah. actually. Mm hmm Gotcha. Well, it is marked on the map. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot use my channel divinity to get any spell slots back this time, so... But you can get your channel divinity back. Yeah, I get my channel divinity back, but I cannot use the specific feature, because that is one per, once per yeah. long rest. I mean, it's good enough on its own. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, but, you know. <laughs> I could have some uh, very broken stuff. 
Oh, that's so, interesting. Um, yeah. If you guys are ready, we are able to go to the final location, and we should be done with the job. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Let's do this. And yeah, that's a good point, Riordan. We don't know what the ooze melted away. Uh, wait, wait, stop! Stop moving! Stop moving! I'm trying to transport you. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. My bad. All right. I'm gonna transfer this, and then I'm gonna change the map from Biodome back to sewers. Okay. Great. Uh, you guys are top left. Um, on the map, it is marked there is a small office that he would like you to check out. Perhaps there are some rats hiding inside. Um, you can see the door of it right here. Um, and alarmingly, you do see some blood stains. Looks like something has been dragged through. What would you like uh, to do? Can we like draw again a, um, a perception check to see if we spot anything? Uh, yes, as you guys are wandering around, sure. Go ahead. It, it, it's um, it's 14. 14. I do not have proficiency. Okay. Um, 14. You don't really see any immediate danger around at the moment. Just some cobwebs, things of that nature. There looks like a dead body over here uh, near the grating, but other than that, not really. You see the dead body? Uh, uh, no, I can, we cannot see. Is it skeleton like? Yes, it is skeleton, yes. Yeah, so these are like the feet over here. Yep. I can barely reach. Oh, uh, I'm so sad. I made all these details on the map, and you guys don't have enough light source to uh, see all this. <laughs> I can actually see them. It's nice. That's <laughs> okay. You know what? Grim is going to be like, he's going to light up a torch, and he's going to fling it. To just see all of the all of the corridor yeah. that is on the right, on the left. Sorry, moving down. Yes, that would be the left. I mean, the torch when it lands in the the sewer muck, it's going to just go out, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Just to get like a quick throwing a flare. Just to oh, okay. Get a glimpse. It's like so throwing a flare. Just to get a clear view of what's happening. Well, if you sure. Want. This lights up the area a little bit, and then it goes back to the darkness. I do the same, only I don't light up my torch, I just cast light on it, and then throw it. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, anyways, so you guys yeah. approach. Uh, you guys, wait, 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 don't go there yet. Um, you guys hear voices from inside. Um, you guys hear one terrified voice yelling and, you know, screaming for help. Or not screaming, I guess. He's more, he's... He's tired of screaming. He's, he's been screaming for a while, and he doesn't have any voice. And the other voice, you, this is what you hear. Started with this pneumonia that wouldn't go away no matter what we tried. Well, I've stolen the serum samples and have been incubating the disease in various humans and animals. Oh, only the most elegant of the disease can infect so many while smothering so many of its victims. My last patient... He, uh, he died no longer than 50 hours after the injection. But you, you, my friend, I have a good feeling. Let us commence the experiment. Something I sinister is happening inside. What would you like to do? I oh, yeah, he's like something. The moment I hear it. Do that, and I will make your death very painful indeed. I, I whisper, well, I was thinking maybe we could ambush this time around, but seems not. Let's go. Oh. He you was guys about can, to just yeah, infect gonna somebody, so, you know. Yeah. We're gonna go through oh. double doors. We're anyway gonna be... <laughs> we're gonna... It's not yeah. like we're not gonna be noticed. You're like barging in the door. <laughs> okay, no problem. So mark yourselves. As soon as you enter the door, the combat will begin. Um, Wallace is gonna rush in, so... Sounds good. So you'd be over here when the combat starts, right through the door. Uh, where is everybody else at the moment? Uh, I'm uh, I'm right I'm right at, I'm right after Jordan in the back of the group. Mm -hmm. is the one order. Yeah, I'm probably in the middle. I'm gonna keep on uh, taking care of the rear. Gotcha. Go ahead and roll initiative for me. Thank you. That's that nice. Is... Ah. Ooh. <laughs> It was very shocking what you saw, Wallace, and it took you like off guard and, and made you stumble or something. Yeah, this guy. Uh, <laughs> this guy's 
this, oh, she was uh, uh, this fanatic person. Uh, he seems to be um, wearing this strange mask. He is in a like a doctor's uh, doctor's uniform. Uh, however, is very filthy, as if he was been in the sewers for a very long time. Um, okay. So he's basically um, singed. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't seem diseased, weird, weirdly enough. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. That's what Walrus sees as he enters the room. Oh, Walrus, you're able to see the room, right? I can see the room, yeah. Yeah, like you can see the chains, the blood stains, things of that nature. There's a little yeah. table here with like torture tools on it and knives. Right. Right. Is this like a, a, a cauldron? Yeah, this, that's like a cauldron, yeah. It's currently empty, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got your reward. Okay. So the, the cult... Uh, the cult fanatic person, this leader guy, he's the one who reacts first. He sees you guys enter and says, Wait, you guys are not one of my cultists. And then he begins to cast a spell. Um, let's see. So he is currently casting a spiritual weapon. Mm. Uh, Warlock, who could have figured? Oh, um, oh shit. <laughs> I should not say that. Uh, he could even have... He could be whatever and have a, an item that allows him. Huh? Yeah. I mean, like, isn't it probable that he could be a warlock? The logical it is assumption. very possible. I'm going to go ahead and mark the spiritual weapon right here. Uh, you guys are able to see this, I hope? Yes. Where? Oh, great. It's going to I'm be... Not, for my angle. Not for my angle. Now I see it. Yeah, and it's going to uh, strike at um, Wallace. Wallace over there. Oh, that is strange. I don't have a macro for this. I'll just have to roll it the normal way. Uh, there's a 1d8 plus spellcasting modifier. Oh, God. And the melee spell attack roll. Okay. Uh, just making sure. So it's 1d20. Yeah, I'm not sure why, why the macro is in here, but I'll add it after this game. My bad. Um, let's see. This wisdom modifier. So, three. Twenty! That, first that first means... hit of the night. Yeah. Hit. <laughs> oh no! I need oh. healing! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We're done for! <laughs> It deals two damage. <laughs> Ooh, <I'm> not... <laughs> and as a I bonus action, he's going to cast Shield of Faith on himself. And he's going to step around right here. One, two, three, and take cover behind this wall. And he says, you won't take me alive. Uh, the great Dr. Kediev. Um, Bill Barr, go ahead. Dr. Kediev. Dr. Lugan sent us to help. Do you need any assistance? Are, um, are you trying to make a deception? Not at all. Uh, As I no say that, you can buy it. So even with cover and shield of faith, it doesn't matter. Your uh, crossbow finds its mark, dealing six damage. And it does mean I have to make a concentration check to make sure my spell isn't broken. And he does make. The spell is intact. Anything else, Belvar? No, I'll just hide behind Wallace and stay here. Sounds good. Uh, whoops, wait a second. I forgot to do this. Give me one second. Oh, giant rats. Great. Indeed. Um... There are a couple of giant rats actually uh, hiding behind this thing right here. Um, and Wal Walrus's passive perception was enough to uh, notice them until now. They uh, pop up. Well, at least one of them pops up. The one that's 13, yep. And then it's going to rush up against Walrus' attack. Uh, I don't believe pack tactics would work with a spiritual weapon or creatures, so just a normal attack roll. 14 does miss. Ooh, 22 would have hit. So. Yeah. Too bad he didn't have a pack tactic, so. All right, Dentari, go ahead. Okay, so. 
good question. Di diagonals, is it double one square, or something? One square. One square. Okay. Got it. So I rush through here, and I, I'm going to block right next to Wallace. And with my rapier, I'll go for the rat. 24 does it. Rat takes damage, but it is not yet dead. Anything else? And th that will be my turn. Sounds good. And the other giant rat is also going to rush forward and attack uh, the tar. It's going to attack Walrus. It's the first creature you saw. Uh, and it does that pack tactics. Advantage on the roll. 23 does hit. That's your hit. My second hit. Five damage. And we'll go ahead and roll Constitution save. The rat is going to um, end turn. Is this a poison or like a... It's disease? a disease effect. Disease effect. Um, I'm immune to disease. Okay, don't make a roll. <laughs> Crib, go ahead. It's your turn. Uh, Crib is going to cast Hidden Step. Let me, like, um, ping that. And he's going to turn invisible for this turn. Uh, let me just find... Okay, here. Hidden Step. Uh, so, and then Crib is going to use his movement. I'm guessing this is difficult terrain here. Um, yes. Are you able to move through enemies while invisible? I suppose well, so. It's uh, I'm invisible until I get like uh, someone to make an attack roll or a, a saving throw. Right, right, right. So, but not like they I would see me. Through, I guess. And there is like five fate. There is five fate. You know what? Red is pretty small. I'll let you move through to red if you make the uh, athletics check. DC 5. DC 5. Unless I roll a natural one, I should be able to pass. Well, now that I you guess. jinxed yourself. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I have 5 <laughs> on athletics. That's my modifier. Yeah. Alrighty, no problem. Crip, you turn invisible and you hop over to red. What would you like to do? And then I'm going to use an ability that has not been used in this game at all. Uh, you know, it's like, uh, you may not know it, it's Radiance of the Dawn. Uh, yeah, I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make some con saves. That's 10 damage. Uh, the rats both failed, they're gonna burn away. Um, cultist does fail, taking 10 damage. Oof, and I'm going to make a constitution save. He fails everything. Holy shoot. Uh, I believe that does make. Uh, it is my damage. It is oh, my no, no, it's your game. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It's your game. Sorry. So the spell does fail. It's going to disappear. Uh, anything else? Uh, I am just going to mock him for being an idiot and daring to mess with us. You a jackass. Do you even know who you're dealing with? Reorder is your turn. He Reorder. seems pretty confident. He is uh, seems to be losing the fight, but he is still confident. He's gonna walk in the room. Uh, hmm. Oh, he's next. I'm just shoot him with a crossbow. Uh, by the way, your cult is friends. We killed them already. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> uh, Damn it all! <laughs> Uh, nine it. unfortunately does not hit. Reordered. Anything else? Nope. Walrus, go ahead. All right. So I'm gonna move five, ten. Can I move through the uh, the guy that's there? Uh, not, this is not... a large like table that's holding the person. Large table. Okay. Yeah. Look, look, this thing like a human shaped table. Yeah. So. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't think you'd be able to pass through here yet. Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30. Eh, I'll just stay here. And I'm going to... Let me check something quick. Mm, yeah, I'm going to hit him with a battle axe. Boop. Holy shit! Max damage! Uh, 16 does land, even though I have Shield of Faith on. Um, uh, he failed Shield of Faith. He failed the save, didn't he? Oh yes, it's gone. Sorry, I forgot it was concentration. Well, it hit regardless. Even if I had Shield of Faith, it still hits. So I'm I'm not dead yet, though. Uh -oh. um, I'll just put down his shield a bit so he can look 
see better and connect the hit. <laughs> yeah. But he took a hit previously. And then uh, I want to say we didn't plan on taking you alive, but we'll try. And so then I'd like to use my, uh, what is it called? Um, Action Surge? Action Surge, yeah. Boop. And I'm going to try to do a non-lethal hit with by hitting him with the backside of it. Sounds good. Um, how how would that go damage wise? Would it just be like It's exactly the same thing except that it's not like Okay, cool. Hey. Oh. Close. No cigar. I am not dead yet. Ah, dang it. Cult fanat fanatic soon. You'll never take me alive. His hand glows dark and he lunges toward Walrus. He's casting Inflict Wounds. Ooh. Shit. That's 30 10 damage, by the way. I'm just gonna put that out. Uh -huh. I know the spell, so it's Whoa. not like a gaming item. Crave knows the spell. He'll <laughs> 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 mm. cast the uh, Shield of Faith as a bonus action. And uh, Bill Barr, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, if that hit, you know, you would be very, very hurt. Yeah, you might be on the ground. Uh, Bilbar? Bilbar? Oh, Bilbar. I should be able to see... Can I see him from here? You can, but he does have cover. Okay, uh, I will move up and then I will take a shot with my crossbow. Nice. Yeah, even with uh, the shield of faith, it still hits you. Um, your crossbow penetrated him straight, straight through the throat. He gurgles. <laughs> And he falls over dead. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you did you want him alive? <laughs> it's okay. Just, just before he falls, Kirby is gonna take out his like water skin, and he's gonna like be like cheers, and he's gonna hit him in the head just to like <laughs> make him do a dramatic fall, and then proceed to check his check down. Uh, Wallace is gonna go try to free the man that's on the table. Oh yeah, he he's pretty weakened. Um, this seems to be one of the porters that came with uh, Hank Peters. He's glad that uh, you guys arrived just in the nick of time. He says this crazy doctor. He he's been experimenting on people. He's, he's injecting them this weird infected uh, serum. I, I, it might be blood. I don't know what it is. It's terrible. I look around for a syringe or. You, you see many syringes, many uh, medical instruments, and none of them are sterilized. They're all very dirty and filthy. Uh, Any syringe would still with a with a with a chart on it. Uh, chart. Yeah, I mean, are are they empty or do they have? Uh, some are full, liquid? some are empty. Okay, so I'll take well, some of the ones that are full. So, um, we'll have to take these back and and uh, hand it over to some authorities. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, you can step away. Um. So that is the last place on the map that uh on the sewers. So you guys, congratulations! You guys have managed to fully, uh, fully clear out the not only the the rat infestation, but also the cultists who are behind the sudden rise of rat population. Nice. Well done, everybody. Let us return to uh the doctor and do the epilogue. It seems what for uh, hours of travel in the, the sewers, you know, fighting off dangerous creatures, uh, not just rats, but, you know, you met a large uh, worm-like beast who was intent on killing, and, as well as a number of cultists. Uh, you guys defeated them all. You have marked the, the interest of location, uh, lo interesting locations, and you return to the doctor's office. Dr. Lugan looks up and says, that was quick. And I have expected nothing less from the exterminators of the Forge Concordance. I trust that the job has uh, done well. And then some. 
Um, uh, you know a Dr. Kadavi? Uh, yes, Dr. Kadia. He he's a uh, he used to work at the institute, but um, was indeed he, yes. <laughs> he uh he had some he said mental issues. He oh, we, has we now been him since. That. Oh, you cured him of that. That's oh, good yes. to hear. Yes. Where is he located now? Uh, dead in the sewers. Uh, in the, I, I point to the map. <laughs> dead yeah. in the sewers, I see. You know, I sort of thought that that may be the case, unfortunately. He uh, became obsessed with developing basically the worst infection he could possibly get his hands on. A madman. Wow. He uh, right, disgraced him from the Institute and banished him. We don't know where he went. I do now know. Well, it seems he was experimenting with the rats. Uh, they seemed crazed out, and uh, also with uh, some traitors' guild as well. Uh, here's some samples of what we found in his laboratory. I hand over the, the syringes. Uh, he takes uh, a look at them, fed. and then he says, I don't think those are sterilized. Um, no, 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 they're not. He puts but... on some uh, lab gloves and then he delicately puts them at the side. I will take a look at these later. Thank you. Yeah, because there's some kind of disease running around in this in the sewers, and most likely this is the source. And I take out uh, from my pouch uh, the samples from the the roots, the vines that we found. We also found this that it seems to be clearing the waters inside there. He gets his uh, monocle out. He takes a good look at it. You know, he adjusts it and he says, "Ah, yes, these are the uh, the the selka roots. Actually, um, we do have a number of plants uh, growing down near the uh, the river. Uh, perhaps the some of the roots of the plants have penetrated the sewers and ended up, I assume, helping you guys. Well, it it was cleaning the water around, so it gave, yes. it gave us a place to rest. I am not surprised. I am glad that you guys found safe haven." I would like to take the map. It's also marked in the map. If... Yes. Yeah. It provides. He looks at the map. He says, silk. "Splendid." I will be taking Sick. a look at it shortly. And we also rescued a bunch of porters. We encountered uh, friends, cultists of your uh, former doctor. They seem intent on helping him and tricking porters into bringing goods down the sewers for some reason. They were dealt with appropriately. Thank you very much. And then you guys hear a knock on the door. It is uh, Maggie Miggins, the superintendent from the Foots and Boots, the elderly gnome lady who was, uh, you know, making sure that the porters were well looked after. She has just received word that um, Mr. Hank Peters has returned to the guild and reported on what said. Um, unfortunately, uh, our, uh, she has sent the, uh, the porters and they will be retrieving the goods. She brought you guys a healing potion as a token of thanks. It will be added to the uh, the rewards. Thank you. Did we find anything else while I was gone? Uh, no, nope, that's it. We're just wrapping up. So yeah, everybody, well done. Job success. I will be writing down the rewards. Um, is there anything else you guys like to ask the doctor or anything like that? Doesn't seem like it. Um, we will head back to the guild house. Uh, yep. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and roll the rewards. Yay. Being a cleric is easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm currently in the rewards roll section. Okay, and then Lucas did not make it, unfortunately. Hopefully he's probably overslept or something. Instead, I'll be adding Sam. And Griff, just real quick, while you, the only thing that we went over while you were gone was what we found, uh, just a summary of, of the mission to the doctor. Okay. Okay, let's give it a roll. I have never hoped for a natural one. <laughs> Crib, you are a new owner of a brand new healing potion. Congratulations. Ooh. Rats. Thanks. And rats. The reward. This is the second 
I'm getting. Holy. And 60 gold pieces and two badges will be awarded to everybody. Thank you for participating, and we're all done. Well played, everybody. Thank you. See, Thanks. anyway, so I become a hermit again and make my own potions. <laughs> <laughs> you said 60, right? 60, yes, that's correct. Make sure you uh, edit the, the vault character, not this character. This character will be deleted. Uh, don't forget to leave the roll 20 room. Uh, otherwise, mm -hmm. it's going to lag when there's so many players inside. Um, you guys are also able to write up a job record, a uh, job summary. Basically, it's like, you know, what happened as far as your players are, uh, from your point of, point of view, from your own characters. Um, and you do receive 10 gold pieces as well as DM inspiration for it. Um, 